Hi, I'm Mike doing business as JR, and I want to show you how to use this great program called Ultimate Ebook Creator. If you are trying to publish a book to Kindle, you may be running into a lot of format issues, and it can get excruciating. It is extremely difficult, and if you don't have that book formatted correctly, it's not going to go through. Or you get it formatted enough to get it through, but it still doesn't come out right on the Kindle, and then you start getting bad reviews. And if you get bad reviews, your ebook's not selling. Well, this program was made to fix that problem. It automates the process. It'll put in the line, the page breaks. It'll format the titles the correct way. It'll make an interactive table of contents. It really is a fantastic program, and I wouldn't even talk about it if I didn't like it. So it really is something worth getting, and I don't know of anything else that's out there like it, to be honest with you. Maybe there is, but this is the only thing I know of that, that is like this. So I want to just show you how I do it. So we're going to just do this real quick. So I'm going to call this um, a book test. Not that that's a creative title, but you know, I just want to you know, make something quick here. You want to put your description in here. Keep this in mind. Your description cannot be any more than 400 characters. Don't do any more. And make sure your description that's in here is going to match the description you're going to put down when you go to upload your Kindle ebook. It's very important because otherwise the program won't go through. My suggestion is that you copy and paste whatever you write in here into the uh, Kindle publishing page. The next thing we want to do is put our author name. Publisher if you have one. I happen to have company that publishes so I do that keywords you only want seven keywords um, that's all that Kindle accepts on their site so you know so you do it that way one after another just like that next thing you do is go to your cover page and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about formatting pages in a moment I'm just gonna go through this to show you how quick it is so there's your cover page. Remember your cover page should look like this. It's not your actual book cover. Go to your title page and all you do in here is you just edit. You know, you edit, you put your publisher or author name here. So I want to do my publisher. This bottom line here, it, there's space if you wanted to add any more. I don't. Same thing here, you put your publisher name there, your country. Uh, here, if you right-click on this, you can actually do a web link, so you could actually have it. So if someone's reading your your Kindle book, your Kindle book, they can actually go to your site. And then we go to table of contents, and I want to show you how easy and quick this is. Right-click on the table of contents, add your chapter. We're only going to add two just for this. So there's chapter one. Go back to the table of contents, right-click. Oops, sorry about that. Add a chapter. No, I'm probably making you deaf with this thing, but okay. There you go. What this thing has now done is created an interactive table of contents. Just like that. You don't have to do anything. So now we're going to go to chapter one, and now uh, what I do is I made a image book. So it's all it's all photos. So here I did it in InDesign, Adobe InDesign, and you can see here's my book here, and there it is there. So I did this as a print book, so it's not formatted for Kindle. So what I did was I went over here to export. I export them as a JPEG, and then, uh, if I could find my pages right here, I then had to resize. So you're going to have to do your research on how to resize these correctly, but I used Photoshop to do it, and I did a batch convert of all of my pages that I, that I did. And you can actually, when you export your JPEGs, you could set it up where it will export every one of your book pages. Like I, this particular book you're looking at had, you know, over 100 pages. So I was able to export all of them. So in here, here are the details. This is the page size you want. 600 by 776 pixels, 72 DPI. So, we're, so you're going to want, when you get the program, you're going to want to know that because you can actually create that page size in Adobe InDesign or whatever program you use. So then when you export, you don't have to go in and resize. So I've resized them. 
and I do half quality, 50% quality out of 100, or 6 out of 12. The reason why is because these files can get too big, and your, your, your final product will be way too big, and then it just won't go through. So here are my resized pages, and I'm going to show you. I just clicked on the photo image at, uh, button. So here's page one. All I do is I go back to that photo image button again and do page two. And go to page three. And we're just going to do it one more here at page four. All I'm doing is clicking on this button, choosing my picture, and hitting entering. I don't do anything else. This thing is placing them in a row in the correct in the correct way here. As you can see, you'll see there's a page break between the two images. Now here's something that's interesting, and I'm going to show you a little later, the panoramic picture. Even though it's showing the image butt up against this, there's actually a lot of white space because this is part of a larger image. So you'll see what I mean uh, in a second. Chapter 2, same thing. You know, put your text in here. You can actually bold it. You can uh, change the color of it. Easy as that, however you want to do it. You know, that, I just highlighted that, but you could actually, you know, not have it highlighted and, you know, however you want to do it. The great thing about this is when you go over here to InDesign and you look here on the right, you have to do all of these steps. Paragraph, paragraph styles, character styles. you got to format this in a special way in order for it to work properly. You know, now all I have to do is just build my book in here, you know, and then just take an image of these things and, and bring them right into my file here. Bring them right into the program. Now the next thing I do is I'm going to save this, but what you could see that we're doing is we just build the chapters one at a time, just like that. Build chapter one, build chapter two. This thing's formatting everything. Now I'm going to save it. So I'm going to just call this... Uh, I actually did a couple of tests already, so I'm just going to call it Book Test 3. Okay, it usually takes a while to save, so we're done there. Now we just go to Export. And uh, you have many options. You can do Kindle eBook, a Nook, uh, an EPUB for eBook, Smashwords, Lulu, generate a PDF. You can do a Microsoft Word file. As a matter of fact, you can actually import a Microsoft Word document, and this program will automatically format it. So you can just do it chapter by chapter. You know, unless you are, you know, I haven't used that program, but if you're really good at creating page breaks within there, this will read those page breaks. So it automatic, it makes everything good. You know, the the guy who created this program actually has tutorials about it that'll give you more detail. I just want to give you this overall of what to do. So I'm going to make an EPUB. So let's just do that. Okay, a book has been successfully made. And uh, I just want to show you now the finished product. I use this program here. It's a free progr program called Calibre. So I want to upload that. There is it. There's my book, book three. Adding that, let's open it up. And you'll see that it is now in the proper format. There it is. Look at that. There is my book. And see what it did? It put this is my actual image, this whole space. So it actually did it correctly. And there are my pages. And I will show you here, it created an interactive table of contents. All I do is I click on chapter one, boom, I'm in chapter one. There it there we are. Just like that. Chapter two, there we are. There's the text. It's that easy to do. And uh I really love it. I think it's fantastic. It really helps. So keeping some tips in mind, you know, you will have to uh, make sure your images aren't too big. 50% quality should be good enough. Um, unless it's a very small book and you only have, you know, 10 pages of images, then you could probably go, you know, into more detail. But if you're creating like a book I did, which is all photo, you know, it's there's just no way it's going to handle it. No way. I figure if someone really likes this book and they want to buy it on a, you know, as an actual printed book, They'll go find the printed version and get that. So I hope that helped you. Um, one last tip. When you go to upload the Kindle, remember, do not put semicolons or colons in your title um, or commas because it just won't upload. I found out, found that out the hard way.
So I hope that helped, and I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.